Hey guys, Harsh here, back in another video and this video I am going to show you how you can create an expensive dustbin using the lot of components that we have already covered in this channel so here is the Arduino, the servo and etc so let's get started Okay, so for this build, I'm using the Arduino you know, and it is the genuine one because it has the white back on it. So you can praise me for that. Then this is the ultrasonic sensor. This is the HCSR04, the particular model. Then here, up here is the 9 gram servo. It is a pretty common servo. You can get it pretty cheap on any hobby stores. Then to make it completely wireless from the computer, we are using a 9 volt battery and with that the connector oh let's start building the project okay so first of all what you need to do is mount the ultrasonic sonar sensor onto the box right here so as you can see that these wires come out so you can what you can do is fold them like this and then just put some hot glue in there just make sure that the wires go around the box so that it can be connected to the arduino so just now hard glue the sensor to the board okay so it was a really pain in the ass so i have to do it off camera so now as you can see that the orange wire connected to the sonar sensor is the vcc the red is the trigger the gray is the echo and the brown is the ground so take your arduino right here which i have and connect the vcc which is the orange wire to the plus 5 volts of the Arduino which is right here then take the trigger pin which is the red wire and connect it to the pin 5 of the Arduino which is right here then of course it's the grey which is the echo and then connect it to the six pin 6 of the Arduino and finally the brown which is connected to the ground to the sensor and the Arduino like this and you can clear the mess, clear this mess later on now take some double sided tape and mount the servo right in the corner like this now to connect the servo I am using these male to male jumper wires and of course as you can tell by the color pattern here the orange is the signal wire the red is the positive which is the 5 volts and brown is the ground so I am going to take that liberty and just convert them into these colors right here so now the yellow becomes the signal which goes to the Arduino pin 7 and the black goes to the ground and the red goes to the plus 5 volts Okay, so now to make the mechanism of the door open and close, I am going to use this needle and this servo horn which is connected to a thread and then I am going to just pass the needle through the top of the case, the box, whichever it is, and then pass it through the other side, like this. So it will act like a pulley system, so when the servo horn will pull, it will go like this and it will go like that to open and close. So now let's fix everything up and let's go ahead and start the coding. Okay, so plug the Arduino to the computer and open up the board which we have given in the description as always and go to the tools, select the port which is COM6 in this case and then simply click on upload. You don't need any special library for this because the servo library is already in the Arduino software and the sonar sensor does not require a library. So now the code is uploaded, now we can go ahead and test it. 